there was a time when they wanted to marry me off to a celebrity because they thought that maybe I'm a, a, a I'm like a groupie type girl I don't know why they would think that the type of woman that is content to Algeria the, the type of woman that is content to Algeria be having relations with a celebrity just because it's a celebrity or uh, for me to basically calm down my my, my fever Concerning my convictions just because I'm dealing with a celebrity. They wanted to marry me off to a cute celebrity. Oh my drunk you all the girls. It was some coven in this country. Ugh, whatever. I came back and I spoke out against that like ridiculous sentiment, that thing that they were trying to do. And so they again went back to the drawing board to try and do another strange thing. What a water fish paste. They keep on trying and experimenting. Right? So at this point, it doesn't matter if you are married to a guy with money. It doesn't matter if you're married to a guy that's extremely good looking, like really handsome, out you're giving D vibes it's a Brad Pitt or uh, like a bit of a, a Jesse, you know that South African dude, actor, Jesse, whatever his surname is, like it doesn't matter if a guy is, is giving really gorgeous, like Maps Maponyane, it doesn't matter, like you can go and marry the cutest dude in the streets that every girl is out just spazzing over, spinning on the spot, fainting concerning. Haben and Daba. It's not about how good you will look as a couple, celebrity couple, how the two of you lit that Yes, there are people who are shallow enough to focus on stuff like that. On some no grabo sonse alnyale muna that has got goya bas. Sonse bes gobo. Yeah, no, whatever. There are people that are that shallow. But largely, these people are strategic. Do you understand? In the sense that it is about marrying the bane of their existence to someone that's going to basically be a handler for her and sometimes handlers are these good looking virulently successful businessmen women they are sometimes celebrities they are sometimes cloud heavy people of the earth that everybody else will literally fall all over the, sh the, the streets in order to be partners to right habana daba if if the if the occult organization is is, is uh, sophisticated and not amateur and entry level they won't care about things like how good the two of y'all look together like and so therefore are the envy of everybody else it is about the work of this man or the work of this woman in the life of the person that they're trying to handle the person that they're trying to calm down simmer down yeah it is about the work that they're doing so they could literally bring you somebody out you're looking like maps maponyane to be your husband and you'll be thinking you blessed or whatever because everybody is also going to be coveting you every year they're going to be the envy of, of the society because your husband is like literally this like amazing thing because your husband is this about one again about torture like i'm literally escaping them uh on purpose i'm crossing the street on purpose so that they're not on the same lane as me uh, but anyway whatever i'll cross over to the other side uh and they they are again on the other side uh they're in the center of the street now anyway whatever uh i just i don't want to be distracted but anyway it's the street everybody gets to walk as they desire let me not be iffy and pedantic and ridiculous yeah so it's about who it is that they infiltrate uh and what what work they're going to do in your life as opposed to it being of any material uh consequence at all that they're good or good looking or financially sort of kind of kept together in a bunch of they could literally put you together in the house of a billionaire having come from extreme poverty they don't care that you will go shopping for all the Christian Louboutins that you want and all the Gucci purses that you can buy and all the Burberry coats that you can put on your back. They don't care insofar as you've got a Burberry coat handled. Insofar as you are no longer the fever against the occult that you were. Insofar as you are no longer bringing down strongholds. Insofar as you're no longer breaking apart altars. Insofar as you are no longer a prolific warrior of the living God. That you are buying Burberry. That you are now eating, drinking champagne and eating caviar. They don't care. That you are living an exquisite, opulent lifestyle, which is why get up the earth is your makwapeni. The earth is, is this like side piece, it's lo nyazi wenu, that has made you commit an adulterous affair against God. You have, yeah, because in order to acquire the things of this, sorry, in order to be comfortable, your acquisition of the things of this world is at the abandonment of your spiritual walk with Jesus Christ. So they've been trying with me for years. 
to try and get me to be with anything at all that's why i am pursued by a plethora of types of men it's it's ridiculous like i don't know about what i what i settle for amateurs like my ex-boyfriend for instance is just a crazy ridiculous amateur amateurs um in this particular sorcery right uh feet my ex-boyfriend will oh, go oh, amateurish okay amateurs will be like i don't want you being with a guy that's cuter than me or has more money than me or is taller than me or is whatever like has more love than me more friends more connected than me because oh shebile himself he's looking at himself and everybody else on the left and on the right of him that could ever pursue me and is comparing himself against them he is making himself the barometer and that is amateur that is an amateur of trying to handle an immature way of trying to handle uh like uh, being a, a christian it's a very amateur way of trying to handle whoever it is that you're trying to handle this person that you're feeling that like he are your hands this there are amateurs yeah the amateurs are like my ex-boyfriend who is thoroughly an amateur in the way that he thinks even though his witchcraft every so often can be more high level than some other people's he's not exactly at the very bottom rung of the occult but he's not at the top 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 either uh he does not belong to such a so sophisticated secret society so as to focus on the works that i'm into or what my cousin is that's going to be perished by a car accident she belongs to a very prolific organization um and they have tried to cause they they have tried to make me walk away from christ in there they have focused on me because they have focused on her type thing but my ex does not even if the occult organization that he belongs to is prolific they're not looking at me they're not focusing on me like that it's just that is focused on me so when his his um stunt work against me is predictable typical and amateurish he's comparing himself to anybody anybody else that can pursue me on the left and on the right okay so my ex would be devastated if i ended up married to a handsome wealthy man angaba so hurt he would be devastated even if this man utwele had knock even if this man is like a hard knock prolific satanist even more satanic than him because he is comparing himself to other men he is not looking at the grander scheme of strategy against south africa he's not looking at the grander scheme of strategy against johannesburg or volche hevel as a, a suburb he is not looking at the fact that there is a power coming from a christian somewhere that is blocking what we're trying to do at the on a national level to south africa because our prayers have got power to indeed thwart that which is an is an is a national strategy against us satanically like mandela was a member of like a whole secret society and occult it was clear because of the un the, the, the his affiliations his associations the signage he did alongside the uniforms he wore it was evident that he belongs to some kind of free masonic society he obviously belonged to he he, he 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 was obviously a member of some kind of a masonic lodge or mandela uh, and when you are at that level belonging to a masonic lodge on a national level basically dealing with international relations also as they uh, um, uh, pertain to your own country you are not going to be focusing on dumb things like make sure garabo marries iskobo it is about okay there is a praying christian in this region and as a result of that woman's prayers although that church's prayers what we're trying to do literally in johannesburg municipality or what we're trying to do in Gauteng entirely or what we're trying to do in south africa is is being thwarted by these christians by this church by the this praying goko and so they will try to neutralize that force and their first price usually is distraction so marry them off to an unbeliever or um mess up their lives cause them to lose their jobs make them have no faith in god make them basically just yeah however when these people are holding fast and they're pushing anyway that's when they graduate to things like human sacrifice rituals that's when they say oh okay i got talk about that's when they invest in witchcraft and a lot of times they don't even try to kill christians because it's dangerous for them they don't try to kill bazalwani because when they try to kill us the spells could the water has come back to them and actually end them there are testimonies of occult practitioners who um have repented given their lives to christ who testified about how it is that they used to actively avoid killing christians only tried to thwart their prayers only tried to also thwart their power in any ecosystem because the moment they would do a death ritual sometimes they would get literally knocked out they would get killed 
in the middle of trying to kill a Christian. So sometimes they go out of their way to avoid human sacrificing Christians. But at the very nth degree of these endeavors, Bayababulala, at the very nth degree, whoa, this electric fence, at the very nth degree, they sometimes do, like when they're super desperate, they do try to kill them. When they're super desperate, they do basically go out on a limb and experiment with death spells at their own peril. At their own peril. Um, and however, if at all, they, like with me, their whole modus operandi is to cause me to commit suicide because they can't quite get to me with death spells. Because of how badly death spells always backfire on them. Like when they try to like stab mirrors or whatever they do, or uh, burning candles, it, it just always just backfires like ridiculously the Gavago America owns up just like I said I guess it'd be why to this day I saw Toka file but I did a video about that yesterday because humans are getting death spells on Christians tend to render RIP cadaver cold bed mortuary for occult practitioners I like yeah anyway whatever now that I've said that uh and let me just put this out there that therefore precisely because of national or international strategy by this occult organization in a geographical location sometimes their desire to handle a christian will be by just getting them together with anything at all that does not love god so that th these people can be handled and that's i believe the reason why they're so determined for my pregnancy so they can use a child to simmer me down or in daughter in any sense, there are a plethora of strategies that they are employing. Employing, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, and the many of them that they are, uh, the many of them that they are, they of course have got different strategies and they've got different levels. They've got different levels. They've got different rankings in the occult, right? Um, so the, the the more senior ones and the ones that are focused on international strategy and national strategy, Yibo, that. Uh, this are uh, unmoved and phased by in w i am celibate in other words i don't want to have sex before marriage for them it's like we're not trying to get you to have sex before marriage we don't care you can literally do things the christian way but what you can't do is marry another you we cannot have two people in the same household that ravaza us the way that you ravaza us you can look. basically their determination is to ascertain that i don't marry a christian man and so start a christian family because the destruction that i am giliwan sona it's just gonna mag magnify, multiply. It's written in God's word that one can bring down 1,000 and two can bring down 2,000. So, uh, not 2,000, but 10,000. So, if I come together with a man, the weight of destruction that we will be together in the occult is going to be too prolific for them to handle. Seeing as Habanghone, Kiliwan, Kilikjan. But I'm still beautiful. I'm still very viable and all that jazz and so they have gone out of their way to do below the belt spells like age me overnight or um why, what do you call it? Oh, kill me. Like, Babona. Long story short, Yashelecha. I am pursuable. I'm beautiful. And so, because Santani Kili in Gisabu Gega, Basaba Nenda Bayoguti, no man and I'm about 40, even if I'm 40 years old. Bottom line is, we know that there's a whole bunch of guys out here tripping over their teeth trying to get this woman, even though she's like 40. So, one of these days, it could be a Christian man. And the two of them could get along like a house on fire and they could get married. Even if she's older, we cannot in our ageism rely on Tabaruna Foti. Because still, Usa Kozabantu, Uti, but but prepare, but la Sahlo Gimon, Gimme, Gimme, no, right? So we, we can't just lean on her age because she has aged well. And on top of that, she's still fertile. She's not so old that nobody would want to marry her type setup thing. So we can't just, like I said, we can't just rely on that. And therefore now they are they man they, they are mature they are graduating or rather deteriorating is the better word to a determination for my death altogether but they want to kill me they they've been doing death spells like for a while they have been doing death spells for a while today i feel good eh? i'm right this rain last week i was staggering about almost stopping like a drunk card that's how recovered i am that's how much God gives me respite and that's how much the Lord heals me from demonic attack time and time again that you keep on slapping me with and it's the, it is this very thing this very recovery -y, wolverine -y disposition where it is that you just keep on recovering every time after they send you spells because you are a threat to their kingdom and instead of repenting they just keep going back to drawing board that's why it's about like when you see the power of God operating in a Christian's life why don't you repent anyway whatever uh, so therefore that's why there's so much death spells around me type establishment thing 
and every so often there are spells anything to get at me okay like the lamorajo kitty amateurs and also very lofty uh, satanists but the lofty satanists don't care for my spiritual compromise in the sense that i can they will leave me to very leisurely get married to a wealthy uh what do you call this handsome man and so mon cost to be very jealous people like my ex-boyfriend what's happening in the grand scheme of things there are people who thoroughly don't care if i marry a beautiful man on a mic they don't care in so far as then Lena is a devil worshiper because that is the kind of stuff that's going to humiliate my seed and also sterilize my walk the more of them they imagine however that they are coming at me be they amateur or sophisticated lofty the better so habana daba or regular tetsu morago ke the amateur wa di kere sa wa america my ex boyfriend or random cousin in e batlang hore nna ke lo dula ko deep slot ke lo tsola le anything out mo mo strateng e tlong betshetsang that i'm then going to go and have a baby with they don't care that she's busy that cousin of mine of which is amateur they don't care if she's busy but because they are aware that i am too prolific and too strong a saint to understand for that stupid woman's witchcraft to ever work where i am concerned they will perpetually keep on investing in their sophisticated sorcery and trying to bring along seeing as i've been insulted by my cousin who thinks nike lotto lale outinyana ya ya skoro pole bagete ya mokasing that's gonna put a baby in my stomach when then such below the belt lackluster witchcraft is all up in my grill that's when they then try to dangle the character in my face off but you can marry a millionaire that is also quite good looking they basically just keep on throwing le fatsi konna this makwa peni wabo lonyatsi they keep on throwing me lonyatsi wabo ngoba they think uguti i will at some point imagine uguti all nyatsis are equal but some nyatsis are more equal than others like animal farm so ngizo thatha manyatsi unyatsi that's more equal than others in other words i'm going to go and grab a side piece that is more seemly than one last week instead of ending up a domestic worker or instead of ending up scanning groceries at the pick and pay i can get a successful business and marry a wealthy man on a mali or handsome godwa that is hard knock involved into voodoo or whatever hard knock involved into some other funny little strange odd spirituality so and like i said they're dangling dinyatsi in in everybody's face they're dangling beside peace in everybody's face they're dangling di goda di chips di spinach any kind of spike goes in everybody's grill and in so dangling di chips di spinach di spike goes it's a thing at all over the show they think at some point naki toko pana di toko pana sorry li pizza they imagine that naki toko pana li pasta yeah alfredo basically with a dish that i call gentrified and so when i meet with a gentrified dish i will take it as a side dish instead of my cousin is offering me but there is a prolific cult and a prolific satanist that is also set on my youtube channel that's offering me some three course meal at a very expensive restaurant all of them are sides all of them is spike course Yet, however, some spike us is more equal than others. The the the, the whole fetishizing of Abba Zalwani is encircled around just that. Literally, they are cursing us to walk away from God, and it doesn't matter in favor of what. Some people fall apart for Marins, a two bob, but there are basically they've got a mindset. Yoguti, everything has a price. They've got a mindset. Yahore, everything in a price. So this cousin of mine that ransacked the living daylights out of me or on the busy gadi tharatsa sizing sense this cousin ne she has gone on right ahead to say hore ka gabo ntho o yetsang a semsebetsi a re ntho o yetsang a semsebetsi she says that what i'm doing is not a job but even though she stood in the way of me and my actual uh, and my job after i na aitsa ntho yetsang i tried to get myself a job I tried to get myself employed. I tried to get myself gainfully enabled again. And she sat on those prospects. Malakutala pobesa yenza imithi saying move out of your mother's house, have no wifi, jola as a means to keep yourself entertained during that time. 
in which time you will then go and fall pregnant by anything that can impregnate in these streets then only will you get a proper job because apparently what i'm doing <laughs> because apparently and my thing is is a recruitment agent not employed are they not working like think about any, uh, a person into recruitment they're working right a recruitment agent is an employed woman or an employed man a recruitment agency is a thorough respectable registered business in south africa and if you can regard any recruit a recruitment agency as a respectable business in the country why under heaven would you not regard christianity and the work of ministers of god pastors evangelists whatever it is that they may, may be as employed and running actual businesses why do you not regard us as employed just because every so often the employment is a non-profit or it is not gainful it does not pay you other than through maybe the widow at Zarephath experience with Elijah where you are being fed because your service to a widow has enabled her flower to be bottomless and also her oil to be bottomless heaven's servants do nothing but go and make disciples of all nations we are recruitment agents but for heaven we are bringing souls into the kingdom of heaven the harvest it is written in god's word is plentiful but the laborers are few so what we do i mean would you consider a recruitment agent as unemployed purely because they are not in and of themselves a business analyst even though they are looking for a business analyst for a company no they've got a job their job is to source out talent to indeed populate warm bodies and chairs in corporates so when then you go and you underestimate a headhunter or a recruiter purely because they're not the ones getting their hands dirty on the ground to, to develop or project manage you are underestimating a very important crucial aspect of the south african economy those who source out talent on behalf of companies in the country without them our companies would struggle to find good stuff do you know what i'm saying yeah well without us heaven would struggle not it it won't it wouldn't be impossible but it would be a struggle to win new souls for Christ because people could just make a decision in their own capacity to go and buy a Bible read it and get right with God they can make that decision in their own in their own volition but largely people get saved because somebody went out and told them about Jesus so without recruitment agents the country would still be okay there would be people that would get jobs because they went to the company directly and knocked on the door and said please hire me but Vodacom gets its staff largely because recruitment agents source them out there and then recommend them to Vodacom we are making disciples of all nations we are bringing people into the fold even if we are in and of ourselves not getting our hands dirty God has got a different job for each and every single one of us so for you to underestimate the job of a saint a person who does nothing but the work of God is to underestimate men like Jeremiah it's to underestimate men like Isaiah. It's to underestimate men like uh, who, who do you call this a guy that I've just mentioned now, Elijah. It is to underestimate servants of God that did nothing but the work of a prophet. They did nothing but the work of a teller of stories, a scribe, but like this. All they did was the work of God, and the Lord insisted that that be all they do because they, He did not want their attention divided. He didn't want their attention divided. For whatever reason god did not want my attention divided even though i longed desperately for a strong career of course and i longed desperately for a husband i longed desperately for children i longed desperately for the whole nine and god did not give it to me because he wanted my attention undivided he wanted me like elijah he wanted me like jeremiah he wanted me like one of those people of his that he feeds by making them go from house to house where they will offer her hospitality and upon being offered hospitality god would then bless that household which is why really those people who write me and then ditch me walk away from me upon finding out that i don't have a job and then you don't write me anymore like your loss your loss because everybody that enables the cause of a child of god alone gets blessed anybody who gives a glass of water to drink to the least of my disciples they will surely not lose their reward that's what the bible says so when you walk away from a saint because they're suffering with their unemployed you're shallow you're shallow the bible says that if they invite you in, in if they invite you into their houses then eat and break bread with them and sleep in that house and bless them dust your feet off from that town 
It'll be a better day on the day of judgment for the cities of Solomon Gomorrah than it will be for that town. Dust your feet off if people don't invite you in when you ask for hospitality. Also in Matthew 25, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was in prison and sick, you visited me. And when I needed hospitality, you invited me in. God, when did I do that for you? You did it for the least of my disciples, therefore you did it for me. Essentially what I'm getting at is that it is at the peril of people who have got the earth as umakwapeni, right? It is at their peril when they look at the suffering nature of a saint, albeit making an observation of the miraculous provision for that saint. Hello. And despite making an observation of the miraculous provision of that saint, yeah, it is at the peril of these people when they, in that very shallow demeanor, precisely because the earth is makwapeni to them, when they not only ignore the child of God, leave them out on a limb but also go out of their way to actually afflict them like to do some kind of damage to them at your own peril because there are documented cases in the bible of men maybe even women who did nothing but the work of the lord and were enabled by whomever the lord will charge to enable them so everyone that's taken bread out of my mouth everyone that has blocked my jobs from me successfully applying for employment in corporate really frankly truly you were never called. You are Cain to Abel. And you blocking me from working was what God was doing anyway. That's what the Lord was doing anyway. And as for the cousin who imagines that my mom is going to kick me out of the house and I live somewhere where there's no Wi-Fi, you're naive about that too. Why? Because of the fact that this is the only thing I am here to do. There's no other job that I've been given but this one. Other than that, that is the only thing I'm here to do. Because these are the last, last, last days. Hakuna much time left. And so because Hakuna Nako, we can't have our attention divided. Be careful. We, we can't have our, our attention divided. We cannot afford to have our attention divided as the body of Christ. Some of us, not all of us, of course, that are working. But some of us, God has taken out of corporate. Some of us, God has taken out from gainful employment, business, uh, uh, gain entrepreneurial spaces to keep us humble. To, he has kept basically what would be the tenement of a thorn in the flesh of Saul, of Paul, sorry. A messenger from Satan, not willing to let it be taken or extracted out from the flesh because his grace is sufficient for us and his power is made perfect in our weakness. He insisted on keeping it there. And so, Mina, this thorn in my flesh that is unemployment, no children, no husband, nothing. Labandu, Ababoni, Uguti. It's what God was doing. It took me a long time to reach a contentment concerning this thorn. For a very long time, Mingiko, I was disgruntled by it. If anything, pretty much the ma grand majority of this suffering of mine I've been picking a controversy with God and poking and prodding into the sky on some God why have you left me in this position but recently especially because of the ramping up of crazy in the world I have come to realize Uguti, this is what I'm doing this is what God wants me to do so I guess I'm not striving with it anymore so anybody that thinks that they can take away my ability to upload content online you're naive anyone that thinks they can take away my YouTube channel you're naive Anyone that thinks that you can take away my food in my stomach, you're naive. Anyone that thinks you can put a baby in my stomach, you're naive. Anyone that thinks that you can impregnate me out of wedlock, you're naive. Anybody that thinks that you can make me marry a man in the devil, you're naive. Because all those things are activities aimed at thwarting what work I'm supposed to do at the very end. Anyone that thinks that they can cause me to walk away from God, you're also naive. And anyone that imagines that they can bring somebody along that is going to finally snuff out my ministry or even bring about my suicide you're also naive because i cannot die one minute early or one minute later than when it is that i'm supposed to if anything i'm not dying i told you i'm like elijah at the river jordan okay i'm not going anywhere any any anywhere until that final day until the, 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 the trumpet blast until the very last day that we are leaving the earth so of course there's going to be a severity of suicide attempts on me there's going to be a, ser a severity of infiltrating anything that's going to make me separate from God in my life. There will be an attempt. And now recently this cousin has been sent to try and take away my provision. So I will now focus on So I will focus on any little random ugly Zetarapani on the street at Longshela. And then make that my baby daddy. It is the work of trying to squelch essentially what would be the ten month of john sitting at patmos and writing the book of revelation but instead of it being john at patmos 
it is last day's saints doing the last works, the reformations, the last little preparations for the beast system. You are trying to take us from that job by making us marriage satanists, by making us have children in Jefela, but we are distracting, but we are not focus on anything other than Tabor Mwanaka and Maleri. You are trying to make us do anything but this because you are working for your father, the devil. That's what's going on over here. So, the carrots that you are that you keep on doing, Kimaswabi, you're all thinking. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Okay, I don't understand what that was about. Anyway, um, all this stuff that you are uh, trying to achieve, it's like it's not gonna give, do you understand? It's literally not gonna give because, you know, let this. This chick says that what you do is not work. Yeah, I'm about your Jalawi Elijah that again Zangum Sebenzi, even though so much of his work is inspiration inspirational to us. And also all of the souls that are in heaven because of the work of Elijah, all of the souls that are in heaven because of the work of Jeremiah, all of the souls that will eventually even enter heaven because of the work of Isaiah, who has so many end times prophecies. Go and tell these men and these women that have done so much work for Christ and say that heaven, which would be the tenement of any business that you are running in corporate South Africa, that, that heaven, now that it is so populated with warm bodies and chairs, that recruitment agents had nothing to do with it. Like literally go and tell Vodacom that recruitment agents have its cities, Basinyanago, because they're not the actual talent on the ground. They're just sourcing it. And you will be laughed at you will be looked at as like at, at some bizarre weirdo with a strange ideology that nobody knows what it is like I. You are essentially going to be regarded as the stuff of Bafunari. Because right now you are trying to make me feel ingati angisebensi due to the fact that I am unpaid without even realizing Nina that have made the earth a makwapeni. That the only reason also why I don't have a salary from my YouTube channel or my blog or my Facebook account or TikTok, basically anywhere on social media where I have tried to make make money, you blocked me. People people called in a favor and said, "This channel, remove it from online. Take away its advanced features. Do A, do B, do C, do D." Two months ago, I was growing okay in terms of new numbers. Just handling Jefela. Like I was getting new subscribers, I was getting views, I was getting everything. And then one day you made a decision that this is gonna stop dead in its tracks to a point where you paid some filthy female at YouTube to essentially cause the ignoring of my person. Those guys are wearing female perfume, like I can smell it. Yes, the men are so effeminate today. Like I literally cannot deal. Bangha Bangha perfume that I used to have, yeah, uh, yeah, Dior. <laughs> and it was just such a feminine scent that Given that it's two men, I just, I'm quite puzzled, but that's just 2024, isn't it? Anyway, whatever. I need to finish this message because, because the sun is totally out here betraying me. Okay, but y'all, yeah, what I'm trying to get at is that the reason why I don't even have money from this work that I do, and so therefore you don't take it seriously as a job, is because you blocked me from getting money from it. You are the ones that took money from it. Like this cousin, she took my gainful employment. From a nine to five in corporate and blocker until I stopped applying. Had got the more about him tricky at Zang in a sim civets. The other day, give it is about to barring and tricky at Zang a sim civets in my rap, okay, my sapo, because they're as good as date. Langut, Gidin, Zwangana, Zahotoka, Zahotoka fella, who can do nothing but Uglanza, Uguara, that which frankly they're in no position of to Lanza or Guar because it's bigger than them. Giba, Gimuki, Maho de Pal, Gigosi. Give me Sifa, the prolific, essentially. So hotel lo ho aka, ho honga da, ho kozi, ho tu kang mulo hona. Kya ho thalo kanya because twenty le bejwalo in the end. But I understand that to say that I don't have a job because I'm not getting paid for a good job that I'm doing, where I'm trying to recruit souls for heaven, is to essentially put yourself in the position to sound really dumb later on. 
because the very ministry that you now today underestimate thanks to perception management and behavioral psychology that is not being viewed because I'm already not being viewed is going to one day have millions and in some of my videos billions of views I have said that time and time again and I will keep on saying it again and again and again and again only reason why you keep on trying to get me to walk away from my ministry is because you are scared of the fulfillment of this very prophecy I am going to be prolific one day but without even being on the earth I am going to be like a dead celebrity that suddenly sells a whole bunch of albums that is what is definitely coming and when I am out here getting billions of views on this very content that you say Asim Sebeti by then you will have already been silenced you will have been shut up and some of y'all will even be in the ground because you blocked a Christian from speaking to people that could have been rescued before the rapture I'm sorry, I'm about to get clout in ways you can't even fathom. I'm going to get clout in ways you can't even comprehend. And I will get all that clout without carrying a side piece of my kwapeni, met the spinach something, little chips, mopila bap, le chicken. I am going to basically have been faithful to God and gain basically the world. It's written in God's word that the meek shall inherit the earth and delight themselves in abundant peace. I am going to gain lefati, the whole earth. Yeah, then you'll know what cloud is. It's a little lazy until you can't anymore. And as for all the perverts that keep on coming at me, I'm sorry, there's only one topic for a day that I can cover. It's not like you don't harass me every single night. Mara tonight, dinner, tonsikibuwe. Today, nesonsikibuwe. Kakazi. Elling all up in my nose, like ntinsi, like nose hairs, like I don't know what. Mara, utlo utlo kubala, utlo kuhambe wangutwa Judas, utlo kubala, utlo di scabs, utlo buladu, le madi, and all different kinds of other bodily fluids. And Jefela, as you are out here twitching on the side of the road with your finger, cause uchai si tuiki basi of humiliation. You dare come at me, Gadi Tari again? Understand? You how utlo le bona? How I grant up, I don't even like talking about you because you're not that important, Mara Obisi. For you to say, whatever. And on top of that, so I will be honest with you. 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 I doesn't mean you can come Zulu. So me speaking is Zulu. Let's discuss this whole puzzle because that's what I get Zulu. My dad is Zulu. So your hatred of my content is even below the belt to a point of out you hating on the fact that I speak Zulu so much better than you. I picked it up somewhere along the way as I've been watching Uzalo. Okay. So Zwana and I'm laughing. Yes, I was raised Zwana by a Zwana woman. Mara umang funu kumi Zulu sisters mina ngizo skulu ma footing yo kaza ngaso ni kware ngaso. Because of Sona Lesul Sakon. Pumagim, Mumzulu, Mumzwana, Mumsutu, Mum, anything I want to be because I'm in Christ. Oscar Long Boragamon, Alejar Lucy, Otezega, Babies and Garganchi, cause Utumbalisho, Wahovastin, Chitwamona, Kemuzulu, Kemuswana, Kemopediki, whatever, get South African. Lanza Kesabatli, because Lang Bora Lengubil. Okay. Unalemon. I'm signing out in Christ's name, Cran Kayla Bor. Bye.